Hi guys, this is Mine from Kinspired Life and today's topic is going to be trust. It's an interesting topic that I encountered just in the last few days. I felt really passionate about talking about it. More specifically, I would like to talk about trusting the universe after you've been screwed. Let's say that you've been in a situation that people screwed you over or you have trusted, you know, the universe and then things didn't work out. How do we get into trust again after things not working out? Let me just explain the background of this uh, video. So I recently joined a um, secret circle where we are supporting each other's dreams and uh, it's really interesting because it involves a little tiny investment to support someone else's wish. For me, this is an unconditional gift. Uh, I believe that money is energy and I believe it needs to flow. I teach abundance trainings um, all the time and this is um, something that I really try to live by and really aim to inspire people to be you know generous and um, just notice that it has to kind of flow so immediately i figured like oh my god this is such a wonderful idea and the first people that i actually contacted immediately met me with resistance and i totally understand so for me i coming from a position of trust i don't assume immediately that i will be cheated on and that I will get screwed over by default and that things will automatically go bad, you know? That's not the energy where I can manifest what I desire. That's not the kind of energy where I feel in alignment. That's not the energy where I feel I could invite miracles into my life. And I've manifested some really awesome stuff by being in alignment and trusting. And even when things are not working out, I always am able to go back into alignment and go back into trust because this has proven to me so many times that when you are in this state of trust, you can really see shifts happening. You can really see amazing movements forward and you are then in the energy of allowing the universe to bring things to you. I do not believe though that if you feel something is out of alignment for you, if there is a resistance, then definitely, of course, do not participate in whatever, whatever that is for you. Um, however, if you do notice resistance coming up, get this. Okay, so <laughs> trying to explain it in the best way possible. So if you look at it in this way, everything around you is the projection of your own mind, right? So if you see something outside of yourself triggering something inside yourself, that is your pattern. There is a subconscious belief that still needs to be worked on especially if you feel that this is a pattern that keeps occurring let's say that you had more people you know screw you over or things not going your way multiple times then that is definitely a pattern i would really advise to look at you need to dig deeper you need to work through it a little more then you can shift from this energy and finally be in trust and allowing that's the way i would approach the situation where you're feeling out of alignment or like if you're noticing like okay i am not feeling the trust right now why aren't you feeling it what is bringing this up who is triggering you and why what kind of emotions are coming up uh, journal on it, look at it, and then do some tapping, do some belief clearing, use a method that you feel comfortable with, or hire a healer or a coach to help you work through that. The moment you heal this pattern, the moment you heal that energy and clear that block is when you can expect miracles. And that's when you're going to be in alignment and things will start moving forward in the direction where you want it to be. Because once you clear the resistance, once you are at zero frequency, is when you can redirect your energy where you want it to be then your energy is open you can refocus on what you want to see in your life and in truly embodied where there's resistance it cannot flow right it's the way it works so you always need to kind of flow so to move from the energy and trust again is when you can actually allow miracles to happen 
this is actually something I will teach at my Manifesting Miracles workshop. It's absolutely free and I would love for you to join me. I will post the link below so you can check it out. We're going to work on trust, on surrender, and we're going to do some tapping on how to align with miracles. And I think it's going to be such a wonderful energy to embody just before this really crazy year ends. And I totally get that this year can really throw you out of alignment. So I hope you can join me and I hope to see you there. If this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. I will be sharing more topics in the following weeks. And if there's anything else that you would like us to cover on this channel, um, on the topic of manifesting miracles, alignment or anything like that, please pop it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and being here. And I hope to see you manifesting miracles soon. Sending you loving support. Namaste. And I'll see you guys next time.